Hey there, it's Steven, and uh, I wanted to make a quick video just to kind of show how you could go about implementing some sort of uh, traditional kind of file system structure in OnSpring. Uh, if you wanted to take something like a document repository and organize those document repository records um, into folders, right? And maybe you even want to have the ability to have folders within folders. So uh, what I'm showing you currently on the on the screen here is just my existing setup, which is a single app, and it's my documents app. And you can see I have a report built here to show me all of my documents, which right now it's not really a big deal because I have just two documents, right? But you might find yourself getting into a place where, you know, you have hundreds of these document records. And so organizing them into a view that makes sense might become challenging just depending on you know how you're categorizing your documents maybe you have a list field that marks them as certain types but maybe you just want to take the kind of the old school approach of hey i want to have some folders i want to be able to organize these documents into this folder and maybe even from there i want to be able to put folders under other folders and so uh, i wanted to kind of show you my take on that sort of a solution so the first thing I want to do is I want to navigate to my admin panel and I just want to build a new app. So I'm going to build a new app and I know very original, I'm going to call it folders. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. And this app is going to be super simple, right? These are just going to be basically act as sort of like bucket records that I can relate my document records to, to sort of group them together and then display them uh, in a hierarchical fashion in a report. So uh, this app can be very simple. Uh, I'm just going to have a couple fields. So let's edit this layout, I'll call this folder, I'll call this details, whoops, I'll call this details. I'm gonna reorganize this about page. I always do that, or this about tab. I don't know why, it's just become kind of a standard practice to bring these fields onto layout <laughs> and organize it. Okay, next I'm gonna add a text field. And this is gonna be for the name of the folder. And I'm gonna make this required and unique. You don't have to do that, but I think it's a good practice to have kind of unique folder names. Um, uh, probably save you some headache down the, down the road. And then the other field I'm gonna add here uh, is a, is may be a little bit to kind of kind of wrap your head around but basically what i want to have the ability to do is i want to have the ability to nest folders within folders and so what i need to do here is i need to create a reference field in my folders app that references itself right so it's a self-referencing reference field but i i actually don't want it to be a single self-referencing reference field i want there to be two sides i want to have the reference field i create so let me go ahead and do that um, I'm going to create a reference field. I'm going to call this uh, parent folder. And this is going to be single select, right? Because there can only be one parent. And I'm going to reference this same exact app, right? The same folders app. It's going to be single select. I'm going to go ahead and display this just as a drop down. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and save that. And when I save this, I'm gonna now have two fields. So I'm gonna have the parent folder field, right? So I'm gonna put that on layout right there, but I'm also gonna have this other field called folders. And this is the parallel reference, right? So this is where I'm gonna identify the child, uh, the, ch the children of a given folder, right? So you can kind of, some of this work is gonna happen for you when you relate uh, one folder to another, right? If you relate one folder to this other folder, the folder it gets related to becomes the parent and the folder that got related becomes the child. And so that's what these fields are gonna help me represent in my app. So I'm gonna call this child folders. You can come up with, with better names. I'm gonna display this as a grid because there can be more than one. And I think that'll do me. So I'll go ahead and save that. And I'm gonna add a new section here. That's just child folders. Keep things a little organized. Go ahead and save this. All right. And then one thing I wanted to do for my folders is I wanted to change the display link field to name. And then I want to change 
some of these display fields around. So let's go ahead and show the parent folder, then the name of that folder, and then any child folders. Awesome. Okay. So now we've got our folders, our folder app in place. What we should be able to do now is if I actually go to this folders app, I should be able to create a record. I can give it a name. Let's call it, um, let's just call it business, right? Some big high level bucket uh, of, of stuff can go in this, this folder. It's not going to have a parent, so I don't need to select a parent. But let's say I want it to have some chill child folders. So let's create one that's called admin. And let's create another one that's kind of like project specific and we'll call it uh, project Phoenix like that. And you can see the parent folder is already selected for me because I'm creating this from the business folder, right? So go ahead and save. And so now what I can see is I have this I have this business, I have this business folder, which essentially is a parent folder because it doesn't have a parent, right? It's kind of at the highest level. And then I've got two child folders, which are in the same app. They're in the same folders app, but these, these ch child folders have a parent. So if I click into the admin folder, I can see it has a parent folder of business, right? And so then I can navigate back up to the business folder. And so now I have the ability to sort of a, a continually nest and create this hierarchy of, you know, grand grand folders, folder parent folders, ch child folders, grandchild folders, and it, that nesting can go, can kind of go as deep as I want it to go, just like your traditional uh, file system. So now what we need to do is let's go ahead and build a report so we can kind of visualize this a little better. So let's build a report here, and for now, actually, let's call this report folders with documents. We don't have the document piece hooked up yet, but let's go ahead and stick it there like, and pretend like we do. And then in this, uh, in this report, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a name for my folders. I'm gonna have that displayed, but then I'm gonna add my related data. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up here to this little plus button and I'm gonna cl click that and I'm gonna select the reference field that holds the related data I want to display, which in this case is going to be these child folders. So I want to show the child folders of this parent folder, right? And so you could kind of see this could this could become a little bit of a, a nesting craziness, right? How many levels you want to show, because you could then add the child folders of the child folders, right? So then you could you can just keep keep displaying this this nested hierarchy, but it probably makes sense just to keep it at like the parent and the children. And then if you need to go deeper, people can just kind of click in to the individual child folders. So I'm just going to keep it as, uh, uh, I guess, two levels of hierarchy being displayed here. And I'm gonna go ahead and save that and run it. Actually, hold on, uh, name and then, yeah, that's it, that's good. Okay, so save, changes and run. And so now uh, what, I, what I can see is I have this kind of hierarchical display that'll show me, hey, this is my business folder. It has the admin and project Phoenix folders in it. Now, one thing I wanna point out here with this report is notice these child folders are showing up here at the top level, which I don't really like. I, I'd like this report just to show me the highest level folders in this app. And then I can drill in to get to all the nested folders if I want using this, this carrot, right? So let me go ahead and edit my report again. And let me change this so that it says parent folder is empty, right? And so why that logic works is because if the parent folder of the folder record is empty, it means it's a folder that sits at the top level of my hierarchy. If, if a folder in my folders app has a parent, it can't be at the top level, right? Because it has a parent. So now when I go ahead and click save changes and run, my view is gonna be cleaned up a little bit more and now I only see that business folder. And then if I wanna see what ch child folders are in there, I can click in and see admin and Phoenix. Okay, that's great. We've got our folders in place now. Now we need to wire up the document app that we have to the actual folders app. So let's go to back to the admin panel and let's go to the documents app. And all we need to do here is we just need to create one reference field, right? It's gonna be a single select reference field that points to my folders, right? So we only we want our documents to live inside one single folder. That's why we're making the reference field single select. And, and then once we have that, that relationship in place, we'll be able to add these related documents to that report that we made. So let's go ahead and click 
single select, or let's click reference field, click continue. I'm gonna do folder. I'm gonna do the folders app as my reference. It's gonna be single select, because I, I want this to just be just every document to have a parent folder. And then I'm the control type, I'm actually gonna pick drop down. Uh, it's purely preference, but I think it'll look a little nicer. So I'm gonna pick the drop down, and then I can just pick the folder by name. So let me go ahead and save that. And put that on layout right here. And now if I head over to my folders app, I'll find that I have a new parallel reference field that is my documents. So let's go ahead and add a section here for those. Call this documents. And then we'll put documents there. And then I'm just gonna make sure this reference, this parallel reference field has a good display. So yeah, so it's gonna display the name and the attachment for my document, that'll look nice. And now what I'll do is I'll head over to my, back to my report that I made, which is this folders with documents. And now what I can do is I can edit my report and I can say, add related data, show me the documents that are in this folder. And I'll say, show me the name of the document and the attachments. So now anytime, every top level folder we have in our report is gonna show us what child folders are in that folder and then what documents are in that folder. So again, you're kind of recreating that traditional, you know, file explorer experience where you have the folder, you have any folders that are in within it, and then you have any documents that are within that folder. And if you wanna go deeper, you can then click into those child folder uh, records. So let's go ahead and save those changes and run it. And granted, nothing's gonna, be different really. So if I see there's no documents here and there's no documents uh, related to these child folders. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and fix that. So let's go back to our actual document, uh, our document report. And let's go ahead and create some relationships, right? So now I have, this is the, the document I originally had before the folder app existed. And now I wanna stick it in a folder. So let's stick it in that business folder. And then let's uh, go to the other document record and let's stick that in one of those child folders we made. So let's stick that in Project Phoenix. Save. And now let's go back to our folders report. And now when we open up our hierarchy here, we can see we have one document that's sitting at, in this actual business folder. And then we have these other child folders that are gonna hold any other documents or might hold other documents. And so you might say, well, okay, can I also show in this one view, could it, would it be possible for me to kind of see, okay, the documents that are in this top level folder, but then also show me the documents that are in these child folders, right? I wanna be able to quickly see what's in there. You can most definitely do that. This is where the, the relationships become really powerful. And you can, you can pretty much go as kind of deep as you want with the nesting. Um, until the view kind of becomes too cluttered. But let's say you have these child folders, right? So I wanna show the documents that are related to these child folders. So click on the child folders, click the plus button, and then click documents and add. And so now you've got another uh, documents display here, but it's nested under the child folders. So let's do the name and let's do the attachment again for this. And so now you can kind of see the general view. We've got the top level folder the top level folder, we've got the child folders, we've got the documents for those child folders, and then we've got the documents that are just in the top level folder. So let's go ahead and save those changes and run that. And so now we get this really nice view. Again, it's kind of mimicking that traditional, uh, that traditional uh, file system view where I've got my top level folder, my child folders, and my documents. But now I can also very quickly say, okay, well, let, what documents are related to this project or what documents are in this Project Phoenix folder or related to this Project Phoenix folder? Okay, cool. So I've got this, this task list in here. And then if you're, if you're, if you kind of want to get really fancy, you can, you can, you, know, you can take advantage of all the, the, you know, all the on-spring things like quick editing, um, one thing you could probably do to make this even a little bit better for some attachments is if I go back to my layout and I make this attachment field to allow quick editing, 
So quick editing is this feature in OnSpring that allows you to edit certain types of documents. The two that I think about are uh, Microsoft Word and Excel. You can just edit them right within OnSpring. So now if I was in my report or in my, my file explorer here that I've made, this, it's a report, but you could, you could put this on a dashboard and sort of call it you know, the file explorer, so to speak. Um, I could actually you know, edit this document and because it's a, uh, an Excel file, I can actually just edit it straight with an OnSpring. So it might take a minute to load here, but what should come up for me is basically an Excel UI experience that I can use to edit the content if I want. And there we go. So uh, it's a, it was an empty ex dummy Excel file, so let, we could just go ahead and add some tasks. So I can say a uh, task name, task description. And granted, you might say, well, why wouldn't you just use an OnSpring app for your tasks? You most definitely could. This is just to kind of illustrate the, the point. Um, of having a file, you know, having a file system in OnSpring. Um, so save, close that, and now we're back to our, our file explorer. So again, this is a this is my solution. There's probably a couple different ways to to take a run at this. You could probably use put everything in one app and just again use kind of self-referencing reference fields and you could categorize, you know, the records as either a document or a folder, and you could come up with some more complex configurations if you wanted to keep this all contained within one app. But I think this is kind of the simplest solution where you have two apps. You have an app that simulates folders, an app that holds your documents, and then you 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 relate your documents to whatever folders you want. And then you can use a, a hierarchical report like this with related data to display those documents in that traditional, you know, uh, a document within a folder or a folder within a folder uh, view. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you got something from it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know.